Hello, everybody. My people. I'm so excited. I'm so excited this afternoon, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Facebook Live here with the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp. I am Brian from the Hospital Outreach Program down here in central New England. Um, and I am just so excited to hang out with everybody today. Big shout out to my friends at Yale New Haven Hospital. Big shout at people uh, up at Bay State Medical Center and of course, Connecticut Children's Medical Center. Um, let's have some fun. So for the past couple of days, you've been hanging out. You hung out with Emma out in space. You hung out with Serena down in C. Um, and of course, you've traveled all around the Northeast. We were down in Philly. We were up in Boston, just everywhere. And of course, we started off everything up in Ashford. And so uh, here's the way this is going to work today, friends. I have two things going on. I want to do a craft with all y'all because I feel like it's necessary. And of course, I want to play a game and do something fun. So what we're going to do first is I shot a little video uh, showing you how to make what else but a Hollywood star. Space, sea star, today it's a Hollywood star. And so I shot this video so we can show you how to make it and do everything. The best part about this is even if the video runs a little fast, you can always go back to it because it's going to be posted to Facebook. And you can go back, you can try it. I try to use all things that uh, you can find in your house or um, in the store. And so I hope it's a good time. And then after that, we're going to do, with some of my celebrity friends, we're going to play a little camp game. So without further ado, let's roll the tape and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so let's have some fun. We're gonna make a Hollywood star. So first what you're gonna start off with is painting the background red. You paint a nice color red that you really, really like for whatever you want your color of your star to be. Once you've filled up your canvas, then we're going to move on to everybody's favorite step of the splatter paints part. Now what I take a minute to explain here in the video is about splatter painting. Normally when people splatter paint they do this throwing motion and it goes in the forward direction. It doesn't even go on the canvas. So a little trick is you can put it in your hand and you do a little flick and it just goes right all over the canvas really nice. It helps kind of mitigate some of the mess. So now we have a splatter painted background with red, it looks really good. So now we're gonna move on to the contact paper step, which is gonna help us make our star. And so here, I'm gonna show you how to actually make a star, because it can be a little bit, a little challenging as you try to make a star look all equal with all its different points. So we're gonna use a plate, just any dinner plate, helps you kind of measure things out. Then you're gonna take a ruler, and you're gonna go right down the middle of the circle. And then you're gonna go just like you're in the middle in the perpendicular direction and you're gonna go a little above it and go up. And then you're gonna to go to the middle and then you're gonna go a little below it. And these are gonna just be two markers that are gonna help you make your points. And you want it so those four quadrants are all equal. And now we're gonna do a diagonal starting from the top of the circle and coming down. We're gonna take a little wedge out of the circle and go all the way to the bottom and we're gonna do the same on the other side. And going back to those lines that we made originally, we're gonna do one right across. So this is gonna give us two more points to our star, making a total of three. And then from each end of that line that we just drew, we're gonna connect it to the corner, just like that. Going right down. I want to give a shout out to myhowtodraw.com off YouTube for uh, that trick of how to drawing a star. And then I found that if you add the plate, it just helps you kind of keep all things equal. Um, and so now I'm just cutting it out of the contact paper here. And this is great because we're going to use this over our canvas. So you take your contact paper now, and this is what's really helpful in just making sure your star is nice and uh, really, really pops out of your canvas. You press it down on the, can on, the, on the canvas, the contact paper, 
And then we're going to come back over the contact paper with the black paint. And you want to sweep out, see how I'm sweeping away from the middle, that helps it so it doesn't go under the contact paper. But black is a great color that you can just do as a second layer. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do a little splatter painting. Peel it off. And boom. You have your very own Hollywood star. There's just two more steps we want to do with this. The first is we have to make it pop a little bit, so we're going to outline it in some gold paint. Because I mean, it's Hollywood. And once you've done that, challenge by choice, you can monogram your star with whatever you'd like it to say. I chose camp because it feels all too appropriate. And then there you have it, your very own Hollywood star. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and video of how to draw this, your very own Camp Hollywood star. And now, welcome to the This Afternoon Show. We have an amazing show for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I am super excited for it. I have some great celebrity guests coming in. And so what we're gonna do, one of my favorite things, is we're gonna play a little game called Who's in that hole in the wall? And what we have here, and your goal, and the way this is gonna go, is I'm gonna hold up a card. And the card is gonna look a little something like this. And so you can see here, there's a wall with a hole in it. And behind the wall is a celebrity who is featured on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Or if they're not there yet, I guarantee, the, I guarantee you they'll be there at some point. So I will hold up this card, and your job is to try and guess who it is as fast as you can in the comments section. And I'll be giving you a couple hints along the way just to kind of help you out in case you need it. I have a feeling you're all gonna do great, okay? So for our first guest, we'll start off. You already had a little bit of a head start because this, this individual is looking right back at you. So this person is featured on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He is an amphibian. He is best friends with Fozzie the Bear. He says, it's not easy being green. Uh, he plays the banjo. And he holds an honorary doc doctorate of amphibious letters from Southampton College. Oh, and guess who got it right? It is none other than Kevin. Kevin Rice, congratulations. Applause <laughs> for you, Kevin. Kevin, just for that, you, my friend, are the very first contestant to get a t-shirt, a vintage camp t-shirt thrown at you via the internet. Here you go, Kevin. Congratulations. All right, on to our next guest. On to our next guest. So, this individual is a fairy also is known to wear a green dress, has magic pixie dust, is good friends with Peter Pan, and her voice sounds like a bell. And quite honestly, in my opinion, she has been supporting her organization for the longest time, has not been given a full length feature film yet, but I'm hoping that she's going to be getting one soon because she deserves it. Oh, and there we have it. Amy Moore, congratulations. It is none other than Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is the next one. Here you go, Amy. Vintage camp shirt coming your way. Bam, you couldn't see it because it was green. You get another one just for that. Here you go, bam. Congratulations. All right, for our next person, our next individual, let's see, ooh. Maybe we'll do, we'll do a couple individuals. So this is a group of people. They're coming your way. This group is a musical group. They are made up 
of three people, their quote unquote survivors, they may ask, say my name. They are R&B artists and they're one of my favorite personal groups. They're super fun to listen to, great music, and they eventually had an artist break off and become very, very successful in her own right. Does anyone have a guess as to who they are? Nope, it is not CNE Hop. It's very close though. And you know what? I see it here. Audrey, you are very close with Beyonce, but Chelsea, Destiny's Child, congratulations. Also featured on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You, my friend, Vintage Camp t-shirt, boom, coming your way. All right, on to our next guest. Let's see. This one, this person at one point was also a member of a group of three. Uh, that was back somewhere in the 2000s though, because it was, it was a member of Charlie's Angels. This person was a former aerobics instructor. They were discovered riding the subway. Someone discovered and that set off their career this person was also the voice of the Viper in Kung Fu Panda. And perhaps my favorite thing about this person is they also play the accordion. They also play the accordion. No, I'm sorry, very, not close, not, it's not Hillary Duff, I'm so sorry. Not Jennifer Lopez, nope. It is not. Fergie, Stephanie, keep guessing. No one gets it. We may have to move, which is totally okay. Oh, and Lords, Lords, you are right. It is none other than Lucy Lou. Congratulations, Lords. You get, my friend, a virtual camp t-shirt coming your way. Whew. Hold on to it. These are going fast. They're going like hotcakes. All right, this next one, very popular when you're standing in the dining hall on camp. See how you do. All right, this person performed at the Super Bowl on her 43rd birthday in the most recent Super Bowl. They usually perform barefoot. They were the gazelle in Zootopia. They speak four languages. And they sing Waka Waka, not Fozzie Bear. They sing Waka Waka, that's time for Africa. And Emma Huntington, away with the race. It is none other than Shakira Shakira. Congratulations, Emma Huntington. Guess what? You get a t-shirt, Vintage Camp t-shirts, all around amazing. All right, let's jump. let's jump to our next actor. This person, what you are looking at in this person is their eyebrow. Some might call this the people's eyebrow. They were the voice of Maui in Moana. They started their career in wrestling. They once held the world record for selfies. They also starred in Jumanji. And they played college football. And they played college football. And this one, I am so impressed. Emma and Anna, I don't know if you knew you were on a team. But here you go, it is. Emma said Dwayne and Anna said The Rock Johnson. So combined, you got it together. So you know what? You both get t-shirts. T-shirt for you, t-shirt for you. Congratulations. 
I am so impressed. Everybody, team, teamwork makes the dream work. All right, let's move on to our next celebrity guest. This celebrity had her own project TV show. Had her own project TV show. Was known for comedy. Was the voice of disgust in the movie Inside Out. Was in A Wrinkle in Time. And this was news for me was from Cambridge, Massachusetts. From Cambridge, Massachusetts. Carly, congratulations. You are 100% correct. It is Mindy Kaling, Mindy Kaling. Well, Carly, you have nothing to fear. I'm not running out of t-shirts. You get a t-shirt too, my friend. Boom, enjoy it, wear it, brag to your friends. All right, so we have been around the world. We have had so many guests here. Let's see, let's dig in for another one. This friend has the nickname, Mr. Worldwide. He also has the nickname, Mr. 305. He hosted the 2013 American Music Awards. His debut album was M-I-A-M-I -I, and was awarded the key to the city of the same name. I'll say that one more time. He was awarded the key to the city of the same name. Shannon, congratulations. You are right. It's Mr. Pitbull. Most people just call him Pitbull. I like to be a little respectful. So I can give you a t-shirt. I can't promise it tomorrow, but I can promise it tonight. It's coming your way. Boom, t-shirt for you. All right, all right, all right, all right. This next guest, I think it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit of a challenge, but I think we got it because there's a lot of connections to it, especially with our friends who ran Facebook Live last week. Coming in hot. And I'll take two answers for this one. The real name, you get, you get five t-shirts if you get the real name, or I will take the character that this person played. This person won the superhero bracket for last week's superhero competition. This person also won Miss World USA. This person is on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The character this person plays is also a member of the Justice League. And they had a new movie in 2017, which they, which they also did a cameo in. What character, Christine Noel, you crushed it. It is, it is none other than the original Wonder Woman. Name is Linda Carter. She just got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Shout out to Wonder Woman, shout out to Linda. Graduation, congratulations. You get a t-shirt. All right. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a fan favorite. To rock and roll, this is another group of people. Another group of people. Their first hit song, they asked everybody to quit playing games with my heart. Ryan Gosling asked, was asked to be in the band in 1992. One member is a puppeteer. And another member received five superlatives in their high school yearbook. And this group flew around the world in 100 hours because they wanted it that way. Does anybody know who this group of individuals is? Shannon O'Donnell, back for more. You are right, it is the Backstreet Boys. Classic, classic. Takes me back. Fun, fun group, even more fun music. All right. All right, friends, I'm afraid we only have time for maybe one or two more. 
Uh, I think we should go back to some of the characters for some of our younger friends out there. This Hollywood Walk of Fame star loves honey. Story was written for the author's son and was translated into 50 languages. Was named after a bear in the Winnipeg Zoo and lives in the 100 acre woods lives in the 100 acre woods hangs out with his friends really enjoys hanging out with his best buddy christopher robin and lisa smith you are right it is none other than that rumbly tumbly good old bear winnie the pooh you my friend get a t-shirt that t-shirt, only get that one dry cleaned. The other ones can be washed, uh, just kind of tumble dry. That one dry clean though. All right, two more. This star is famously remembered for her role in Sister Act. Was a co-host or is a co-host on The View is only one of four women to have received the EGOT, the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, all four awards, was a bricklayer, and has written eight children's books. Has written eight children's books. She's a great, great actress, has starred in many, many roles, and also has supported camp in her own right, and Lords, you're back. You are right, Lords. It is Whoopi Goldberg. Shout out to Whoopi. And guess what? Now you can have a Monday t-shirt and a Tuesday t-shirt, Lords, because you get another t-shirt. Boom. That was flannel. That's a nice one. All right, everyone. We have time just for one more. We're going to have to close it out. I need to see if you can recognize who this person is. This person is the founder of the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp, furnished their first office with pool furniture, was the voice of Doc Hudson in Cars, originally wanted to be a football player, and the character Green Lantern was based on their image, was based on their image. Who, my wonderful, wonderful audience, who is this famous Hollywood walk of star individual? You might even see them as you roll through the grocery store. Don, you crushed it. Is that other than the one, the only, Paul Newman. Shout out to Paul for this hole in the wall. All right, friends. I'm afraid due to contract negotiations, we're gonna have to take a step out for now, but please, please, Come back and join us here tomorrow at 3.30, the same time. You're going to get to see myself, Emma, Mariah, Serena face off in a cupcake competition hosted by Hannah. We are calling it Monstar Madness, where we all have to make cupcakes with whatever obstacles and things that Hannah throws at us. So if you want to see a cooking competition like one you've never seen before, you'll come back here tomorrow at 3.30. And then on Friday... We're going to get to hang out with my friend Mariah for Stars in the Sky. You've been a great audience. I love you all. Be good. Happy National Nurses Day. Shout out to our nurses in the hospitals. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>